Okay, in this video what we're going to be talking about is um, how to use RS uh, Logics Emulate 500. So uh, first and foremost you see I have Lynx Classic Lite open. Um, this is the one that uh, was installed off of the uh, free um, free software that we downloaded for the um, RS uh, the RS uh, Logics Micro. So um, what we want to do is first open up the RS Logics uh, Micro, and this will take a second to open. So um, no worries on that. In the same time, let's go ahead and open the uh, for the second time. Let's go ahead and open the RS Logics uh, Emulate 500. Go down to the um, RS Logics Emulate 500. Uh, feel free to you know, use the tech notes if you need to. Um, so this is what that looks like when you open it up, the RS Logics uh, Emulate 500. We'll come back to that in just a second. What we want to do now that we have um, our micro, our RS Lo um, Logics Micro uh, starter, this is basically good for only a, a few versions. So you can program, actually program a MicroLogix um, 1000 and a MicroLogix 1100 with this everything else you're going to need to have the paid version so but this does give you ability to actually program and go through um, you know proper learning and stuff of that nature if you if you wanted to emulate some stuff and actually practice programming so first and foremost what we want to do is add a new one and again this shows you the things that you can actually use so you can uh, program 1000 um, MicroLogix 1000 MicroLogix 1100 we're going to actually do the 1100 and we're going to name our processor. Uh, let's just name it uh, uh, test for right now. And then we'll hit OK. So we have now we have our processor, right? And we have the, the everything there. Um, we can actually come in here and, and add, you know, like a little small timer or something if we wanted to. Um, you know, we can. Uh, insert a rung and come in here and add a timer and then we'll just matter of fact we'll do that we'll just throw like a little dummy bit in here and we'll use a uh, timer what we'll do is we'll expand our database and I'll show you how to do that real quick you um, go to properties and you can select how many elements you want so let's go let's just say 20 and then we hit OK so now when we open up that we have 20 of these if you open like if you noticed a minute ago I only had you know one um, for that matter if you open up bits you only have that many so if you want to open those your database up you come in here and you open it up and now I have you know more uh, more bits and stuff I can use so you see how easy that is so um, not to get too far into that because we can we can go into that anytime we want to let's just throw in a little test room so again, we'll we'll use this uh, timer right here, and we'll put it on. Um, let's just put it on. Uh, we'll put it on less than a, you know, like a tenth of a second or something like that. So, but anyway, so let's do 25, and then we use this as like a little flasher. So let's come in here and say uh, T4, um, and then we'll put actually T40 and then we'll put done so that will be when that's done it will be okay so um, assuming that that of course it's not gonna let me do that um, so again we'll verify that just to make sure it's good um, now what we'll do is we'll save our program so we'll save as and then we'll come into um, I don't know let's let's just put it under uh, let's put it under desktop for right now and what we can do is um, you know you can place it wherever you want to sometimes Rockwell defaults to wherever but I like to put it where I can find it so I put it on my desktop and again the name is test so we're gonna save it um, now we want to go into our RS Logics emulate. As a matter of fact, let's go into um, 
go into Leaks Classic and go to Add Drivers. And what you can do is you can add this um, SLC 500, or hey, SLC 500 Emulate Driver, and add it. This would be Emulate Emulate U1. So you can pick your uh, station number that you want to be. Um, currently, I mean, I like to, to put my station number at like 4 or something just to kind of get it out of there, um, get it out of the realm. <clears throat> um, right now you have nothing in there but your workstation. Your workstation is your computer because your computer is going to be your processor. In Emulate, you have um, right here is basically you have your settings. Um, you really don't have to do anything besides open a file and then again it's we need to open the file that I just actually saved so on my desktop um, I'm going to search for that file which was uh, test so we need to look for test oh uh, yep there it is and we open it um, the station number um, just put zero and then <clears throat> open it so now we have our test processor in here so now our test processor is in is actually running inside our emulator so how you tie the the emulator the RS logics emulator 500 how you tie that into the actual RS links Classic is actually you first add the driver into Lynx Classic. Then you, after you add the driver, you're you're going to set your workstation. Which right now you see, I set the workstation to four. Now I did that because I want to set my um, my my control or my um, uh, processor, my MicroLogix that I'm going to be emulating. I wanted to set it to zero, station zero. So in that case. I wanted to go ahead and just you know have a, a free reign of, of that so in there um, now you can select run if you wanted to run it and we can go back to our processor and actually download to this so now we can go to um, we can actually go to system comms you can go right here and um, click that and then go to download actually I'm sorry I was supposed to actually um, just go online being that I already threw it in, in run mode I should have just went online I should have downloaded so you see how fast that timer is let's change the timer it's a little fast you see it it's timing pretty well so um, 250 okay so let's put that a little higher so now we can come in here and actually program Right, so we can actually come in and add a rung. Um, we can we can kind of control bits and stuff like that. So let's let's do let's, for the sake of argument, let's throw a little uh, a counter or timer in there, another counter timer or another timer to actually work um, opposite of that, like a flasher system. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll come in here and select again. We'll select um, let's say. 500 and then we'll come in here and what we want is we'll use this um, 4 and then we'll go done we'll use that and then we'll change this one to actually control off of 1 so now we'll have a flasher timer scenario and we'll hit uh, basically come up here and make sure we have everything so let's see what we're not doing um, not let me see the online edits okay so let's go off here program mode And let me see why it's not accepting. 
because this is actually correct. Sometimes you have this with emulation, so but it, it could be something that I'm doing wrong. So let's let's delete that. Let's accept that. Um, and again, it's not wanting to accept that. So maybe it's because yeah, okay. Yeah, it needs to be off. We'll just take it offline. So save changes, yes. Okay, so we'll take it offline. We'll add our rung back. And then we'll come in and it, it could be, it could be just something as simple as, you know, my process right now, how I'm doing things. Um, so then we'll add our our timer back in like we did we'll set it to the proper settings so again 500 then we'll come in and use this bit this first timer is going to actually control the this timer and then this timer is going to control this so we want to basically all we're doing is is creating a flasher and again, we'll select that. And now what we'll do is come down here and add another row and use this bit. So we'll copy it and paste it. And then we'll come in here and use this to control one of our um, OTEs for like a bit. So we'll just say, um, we'll use one of our bulls. And let's just for, for the sake of argument, let's use this first bull. And then what I like to do is um, to make things easier is I like to throw a symbol in there. So I'll say flasher light, not flashlight, but flasher light. Um, so then, and note that if you don't um, flasher uh, light, so if you don't hit enter, it won't take. So that way, when you actually, you can come up here and put a edit description as well. You know, you can come up here and add a description to this if you want. You know, for uh, light control. Uh, you can do that if you want, but um, I like to just do the symbols, and that way it keeps it nice and clean. Um, so then now we'll come in here and we'll go to comms, and then we'll go to download. And do you want to download, go online? Yes. We'll go to uh, run mode. And then we'll come in and watch our timer. So it's going to count down. Then it's going to cut the flasher on. And then we can always speed this up. Like if we wanted to have you know, a quarter second. Then what we can do is speed that up and have it on for a quarter second and off second we can even I mean we have it faster than that if we wanted to uh, so go down to a tenth of a second and then that way it, it cuts on cuts off cuts on cuts off so this is a very very simple thing but see how easy it is to use an emulator um, and basically how to you know use it is is you actually first want to come into ours links make the driver again go up here just select your driver um, and then make the driver and then after you make the driver you're just gonna after you set the station you're just gonna see your workstation until you start this and you actually open your file and you select what your file should be as far as, far as the station now once you're done um, again you can just hit save if you want to save the processor and you know find out where you're at um, I always actually tend to go to program mode and then go off that's just the way I do things and that way when I go back to my emulator I'll come up to my emulator and basically close it and then you see the processor goes away up here and then you're you're basically done so at that point you can shut everything down and you're good so that was how to um, use the emulator um, use the RS uh, logics emulate 500 and how to tie those two together with RS links with the actual downloads that we did so this would be the third instance of the the um, programs that are the um, third of the videos that we did so that you can actually tie all three together and get a working system off of free free download so
again, hopefully this helped, and um, thank you for again for the support.